we'd go, we'd walk to this diner on Tunley Avenue that is non-existent. It was a real redneck trucker diner, and they had like the music on the wall, you know, like when you spin it, and yeah. you play songs, and we'd go in there, listen to Margaritaville, and just fuck, and then the waitress would come, and she'd be like 40, and ugly, she smoked like a thousand cigarettes, and she was three. She three. Since <laughs> was three. And fucking we'd laugh at her. We'd just start laughing at her. And she'd give us the menus and say, I'll come back when you grow up. <laughs> Wait, shit like that. It started like a fun thing. And then we start by the eighth grade, we're doing it uh, in between classes sometimes. Like three of us would get together and smoke a joint, go back to class, lit up. And start making noises in class and giggle and the whole thing. And then it was just a slow process. I knew that I just liked marijuana. Mm -hmm. I knew the dangers of cocaine. I knew the dangers of heroin. But then uh, a friend of mine came to me one day and he goes, let's do it with acid. I was the Rolling Stones in the eighth grade. My eighth grade graduation, that was his present for me. He goes, I'm taking you to see the stones. We got to take a hit of window pane acid. I'm like, oh, here we go. I go, how bad could it be? It was bad. But I went to the concert. I, you know, and then I, then I kind of liked the acid. I liked where it took me. I liked that I could go home and listen to music. And I would pop acid again once a month for a while. <laughs> then it became twice a month. And then it became a thing that we would do three nights a week. Damn. We're tripping three nights. For how long? How many years? This one. This For is, a year? This two is, years? This That's is so crazy to me. Shit. <laughs> Half fresh. the week is on acid. This is <laughs> freshman <laughs> year of about November. Oh, my God. We were doing hits of acid. Three a week? Three a week. And is it just one hit a night, or one are you doubling little, up on those no, hits? No. No, okay. One. All right. One would take you. If you did it at six. You'd be cooking till three. And I mean cooking. Like you could go home by yourself. Somebody told me a story one time. Acid, shrooms, opium, things like that didn't come through our way until the Grateful Dead came to town. We would all go to the parking lot. We'd party at the Capitol Center back in the day where they did heavy metal parking lot. That's the Capitol Center. We're there for the Grateful Dead. And I I didn't smoke or anything. But everybody I hung out with did. And I never minded that they did. I kind of enjoyed... Like seeing what happened, I'd be like, okay, well, I'm not gonna do cocaine. Well, I'm not gonna do fucking right, pills. I'm right, not. Right. Um, but one of our friends, um, somebody told me this. And I, I, I hope this is fucking true. But I guess he had bought a sheet of acid, put it in his pocket to take back with us later that oh. night, and it rained, and the rain washed the fucking acid into his skin into. Yes. His, can, and he was, they said he was, they like he had to take him to the hospital. Everything. <laughs> can that really happen? Come on, that shit can seep in. I well, guess it could, right? It's I just know, acid. I know that I was clean and sober. I was clean and sober. Okay, I was clean and sober. Uh, they threatened me with fucking going back to prison and finishing my sentence. And one day I get a call that I tested positive for cocaine. And I go, I don't, I don't snort the cocaine. I just sell it. And I told that to a friend of mine. He goes, are you retarded? He goes, every time you touch those rocks, that stuff goes through your skin. Sure, you're going to test positive. One time I tested positive, I wasn't even doing it. It was from touching it. So, yes, I do no believe shit. that story. Especially back then, the acid was thicker. I never fucked it. Look, I shroom, you I, gave me shrooms. If I eat it, <laughs> you just I gave me right shrooms now. at Comedy Store at the last. Okay, How was it? They, they were good. They were good. Yeah, I had them. That, I had some that night, and then I still have what you gave me to take home with me. Fuck, I got a bag at the house. Um, but I want to. I'll tell you this. So when I first moved out here, because um, I've only done shrooms like five times, and at one point I enjoyed it. But also, I'm the like, I'm the guy that's like, all right, it's been five hours. Get the fuck out of here. You know, I'm like that with company. You know, what I mean, get the all right. It's you know, hit it. We had a good time. Get the fuck out of here. You don't need. I don't need to still be hearing my music like wah 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 after five fucking hours. You know, um, you know, I get it. But back when I first lived here, this was 
This was in the 1900s, man. This was 97, bro. Late 1900s, 1997. I first moved here to go to college, uh, and that was the whole Northridge quake. I, I was coming here to go to Northridge when the quake hit and destroyed the school. So I ended up uh, going anyway, but I, I, was, I found an apartment for a month, then moved in, in in February, and Pink Floyd is coming out to the Rose Bowl, and I – love pink floyd and i want to go see pink floyd and i want to see him at the fucking rose bowl so my buddy and i get tickets and he tells me uh a married couple that he knows is, is going to meet us there and sit with us as well i was like great so the four of us are hanging out we're all smoking weed and the three of them decide to do shrooms and i'm like i'm good i'm just gonna smoke weed and drink get into the show the show is fucking bananas i don't know if you've ever seen pink i got to see him here and in dc at rfk when that was still there uh, same summer and the pigs are fucking bouncing, you know, they're all tripping over there on their, Oh, sorry, on their shrooms and shit. And I look to my left and you, you've been in a Rose bowl. You're packed in there, you know? And I look back to my right and, and my friend, Kevin, he's, he's gone. He's gone. And I, I, and people start yelling and shit. And i look back, this motherfucker passed out. Okay. And it's those bleacher seats. So when he went back, his feet got hooked under the back of the front one and he bent in half and people instead of catching him they got scared and they jumped out of the way his head hits the bleachers behind him he goes into a full-on seizure okay he's going crazy his eyes and they're like is he up is he epileptic i'm like i don't fucking know i have no idea the chip were, were you tripping no i only smoked weed and drank but the three of them they're all to my right it's him and then the married couple she sees it and I, I think guilt got to her and everything because she's the one that gave him the shrooms. She starts throwing up in her like fifty dollar concert shirt. She, her, she, they're all having now. They're all having a bad trip because he's having a full on fucking seizure. I've never seen this on mushrooms, okay? And I don't know if it's the shrooms or the fact that he hit his head so goddamn hard on this thing, but I don't know what to do. And I look up at her and she's, you know, she see like, oh my god, it's coming for me next. You know that mindset? We're like, oh. And I just start smacking him as hard as I can in the fucking oh, face. Jesus. I'm smacking the shit out of him. Pink Floyd, the pigs are fucking going. Oh, I just lost my headphones. Sorry. And um, they're banging and banging and banging. And he's having a seizure. And then finally he snaps out of it. And everybody's like, holy shit. I'm like, dude, are you all right? He's like, did I just pass out? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I go, how long do you think you were out? He's like, I don't know. It felt like three three minutes. He's like, yeah. I was like, you're out for about 15 seconds. I was like, dude, but you had a fucking seizure. Are you bleeding? He's like, I'm not bleeding. I'm like, are you all right? He's like, yeah. Look over at her. They're out. They're gone. We never saw them again. We go back to fucking Pink Floyd, and he's fine the rest of the night. We're going in like fucking Marines. You understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.